Hello, I'm Martin Hemming from the Sunday Times Travel section. It's a cool, bright morning here in Tokyo, and today I'm making a bit of a voyage, um, a 1,000 kilometer voyage to the Ogasawara Islands right out in the Pacific. My mode of transport is a ferry, and this ferry is going to take me 25 and a half hours. rooms they've all got their own pride a bit more comfort in there now I'm staying in uh, second class but special second class if you're in regular second class things are a little bit more basic you're down the bottom of the ship you get given a couple of blankets and a pillow um, and basically a little area with your number on it um, so yeah a little bit more basic um, but still you know not not too bad you don't get this on the Isle of Wight ferry um, and obviously the cheapest tickets are down here, but there's a good vibe, families hanging out, snacking, um, and yeah, some people already hitting the sack. This is room 52, uh, my home for the next uh, day, I guess. All quiet at the moment. I'm sharing with a mix of men and women, most of them uh, quite elderly, so I hope I don't have to um, help any of them into their top bunks later on. half past one so I thought I'd uh, get some lunch so I headed down to the cafeteria where you can get a few sort of western pizzas and spaghetti bolognese but also lots of noodles and stuff. Um, I've gone for a big bowl of soupy noodles, not the most delicious I'm sure I'll eat this week in Japan but it does the job. Um, I think it worked out about eight pounds for a big bowl of it um, and you do get free refills of green tea. Uh, pretty quiet in here now. Um, I think people bring their own packed lunches to save a bit of money on this trip. Um, but yeah, I can't ask for anything else really. Um, it's getting a noticeably a bit more wobbly down here, rocking side to side slightly. Um, but I have been assured this is a lot calmer than normal conditions. So I should count myself lucky. Bang on time, uh, just for a half eleven we're now just pulling into dock. Um, you can see the locals kind of running to the running to the key front to welcome home loved ones and welcome visitors as well. Um, it's quite a touching sight actually. Um, the sea is lovely and blue here and it does feel like we're sort of arriving at um, the edge of the world really, a whole new frontier. And here I am. This is Shishijima. Just climbed up to a viewpoint to look down upon the bay. We're now a thousand kilometers from Tokyo. It took me 25 and a half hours to get here, but I think it's gonna be worth it. Mm -hmm. 